the international swap is Dan Christian out and Daniel Sams in. Now, that's an interesting one. Uh, Sams, of course, can bat down the order, but uh, very experienced in franchise cricket with his with his various variants. And Joy, the one other interesting factor is he knows this opposition inside out. He played for this franchise last season. Yeah, he knows this and uh, yeah, it's not just playing for this franchise. He was traded and uh, it's not something that you know every player who's traded or goes leaves one franchise Harshal Patel and Daniel Sams have both gone to the other franchise and they'll be looking and saying you know this uh, we've got a little bit of explaining to you that perhaps this is a great opportunity for us to explain to you why you should have retained us and it never hurts and you know players often there are a lot of players who actually do that purposely almost to build themselves up and say oh yeah you you thought this is what I was I'm the great Michael Jordan was famous for doing this he just he needs something to find himself to get angry about just that he could, you know, rile himself up for the game. So, yeah, I think definitely. And the other interesting thing is they've looked at Christian and they've said he's neither giving us enough with the bat nor with the ball. And I mean, sad to say also that it's almost like a bad luck token considering that that one drop catch is possibly the most expensive drop catch in this IPL so far. 100% this IPL you have to say that that drop catch is possibly the most expensive. So yeah, maybe a couple of, he sits for a couple of days and thinks about it. Uh, it's not a bad team and they've gone back with Rajat Patida. They really obviously liked him because they've had him bat at number three on two other occasions. I'll be really interested in seeing how he goes because he is obviously there to increase the run rate. He's probably got a, that if Devdutt or Virat gets out, he will keep hitting so that Maxwell and AB don't necessarily have to take as many risks up front. I think that's Rajat Patita's job if he's going to do it. Let's see if he can manage. Well, there's another interesting dynamic with Steve Smith. Uh, you know, there were there were talks of, of possibilities of both sides picking up Steve Smith. So uh, once again. You know, every time you look at a player who could have been in one franchise, went to the other, traded from one to the other, played for one, then went to the other, it all leads up to interesting dynamics within the game, Pommy. Mm, yeah, I think it does. I, I think that's the I think that's the beauty of it, though. I mean, if you think of just the IPL as a concept, and you find that you have um, and start in India, so start off with domestic cricket in India. So guys who are playing for Tamil Nadu and guys who are playing together for Tamil Nadu or together for Karnataka or together for Delhi and they are split up from their various teams and they go to different franchises and then they meet up to play against each other when it's IPL. You go up one um, or up a lot to international uh, standard and India teammates being split up all around the various franchises and then meeting up. And for, for India this time around, after a successful a uh, few months, um, you know, having done well and celebrated each other's success and so forth, now to come up against each other, so important. And you want the bragging rights of your, uh, you know, in in your group. Go further than that to international players who play against each other, captains against, uh, you know, against their their bowlers, against their batsmen, and and all of that. I think it's a it's a beautiful concept and it's lovely, and that's that's why we watch. Today, many people are saying, oh, A.B. De Villiers, you know, he's got to play against Cajiso Rabada. How's that going to go? You know, and everyone will be interested in seeing how, how those two take each other on. So, yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. in fact, Gotham, I, there's so many cases. I remember when we were in the IPL and you're in the IPL dressing room. A, you'll get information from that player about a guy who's probably his closest friend. You know, and teammate for many years, and it's fantastic. So, you know, Jacques Callis would sit out there and say, AB, nicks off early. Okay, test match length mm -hmm. outside the off stump, nicks off early. That's the ball he's going to get. And, you know, I used to sit and marvel at the fact that they were absolutely serious because when they were playing for franchise, they didn't care what the other guy was. He's got to get out early. And I, I love the way, in some ways, that they can do that and they can adjust back. When they probably go back to play for South Africa, they turn and say, Gautam Gambhir. Up front, he's really, really, you know, outside the off stump, he's really, you know, he has problems. So, I think it's it's great for cricket in a way. And uh, there's so many insights that you get sitting out there that it's, it's not funny. Absolutely. The I think Daniel Sam will be telling them all about them. Yeah, and uh, the thing about it is, um, and I don't know if, you, if you're like this, guys, but um, it doesn't matter if you're playing 
a game of cards. It doesn't matter if you're playing dice. It doesn't matter if you're playing tiddlywinks. You want to win. Uh, it, uh, that's just how it is. I, it, and I don't know that you can teach that to someone. I also don't know that you can take that out of someone. So as long as you are kind of that way inclined, you're a competitor and there is no contest that you're going to go into, number one, and not see as a contest. Number two, and not want to win that. Yeah, no chance. So they'll all be going in using all the information they have, all the little bits of information that will give them an advantage and give their team an advantage to ensure at the end of the night, well, that drink tastes that little bit better.